you will reach all the people who are like you when you find what your transmitter is. Once you, once you feel you have your wavelength, radio wavelength, that's who you will hit. Radio transmitter, radio wavelength. It's the, the most ingenious gift of communication that exists. Radio wavelength. It's finding your form and communicating. Radio transmitter. Radio wavelength. And it picks up all the people who are you. So, the thing to do is to work within your essence, just to be essential. When you find the means through which you will express yourself, uh -huh. that will be your radio transmitter to reach the people who you're supposed to talk to. I agree. Yeah, I, I agree. It's the most sophisticated and advanced way of meeting people that exist in the world. And, and who do you think are going to be the people that are going to listen to this? Whoever is touched by this, I am meant to know. Those connections will be made. I will be on a radio wavelength where I'll automatically get in tune with other people that are, are in the same area. I believe that. You know when people ask you what art is? Uh -huh. and you and you have to try to define art and then you you try to think about the audiences and you try to think about other things well i think that i i never really have thought about exactly what it is but just by what you just told me on the phone right now and the way you just said it is is a real good explanation of what i think that artists do yeah i well i you know, I, I say uh, live and eat and you say live <laughs> and uh, the eat comes secondary you're gonna start with it <laughs> You know what I think should happen to art in this country? I think artists should become like Buddhist monks. They should abolish copyright law and say that ideas are, are from God, they're from above, and you can't, they're not commodities. And artists are like, are like gods or saints or something, and, and people, if you like an artist, send them five, ten bucks in the mail. I always tried to fit myself into some mold in the belief that that way I would make money. Yeah, but, I, I know, I know that. You know, I mean, it's like you said, I mean, you, when you create... You're the facets of, of who you are and, and things that aren't even you have to come out. If someone senses in you the fact that you can be exactly who you are, then that's very life-affirming. Nurture that side of us that's, that's creative. Everything I do is creative. From the way I hang my clothing up to the way I fix my room, Everything I do is, is an act of creation now. My whole day is interesting because it's always viewed through a creative eye. Even the way I make a salad. You're, you're inspiring me. You really are. There's not enough time in one day to do all the things that your mind and heart really want to do. To me, you know what the big, the big thing that's making me try to be more creative is I feel I have this, that my whole nervous system is wound up really tight and there's a really uncomfortable feeling and when I create it unwinds it and, and to me it's pain reduction that creation reduces pain that creation reduces pain I, I really think that every human system is is is, is capable of, of total health I believe if you look at things from a completely physical standpoint uh, an organism in, in the universe that is alive is one that creates, and it creates, it, it, it procreates, and it creates. And if you stop creating, then you are a non-functioning organism. You are dead. Whether your body is still alive, you are dead. So the only way to be living life is to be constantly creating. Uh, the, your real true artists are just so... Their, their, their system, their constitution to me is so healthy because it's always flowing.